Hello everybody, hope you're having a wonderful day today. So I'm going to be having another uh, interview video. This one is actually with Jason DeLine. I actually did this interview back at Fan Expo. If you don't know who he is, he's the voice of Ben K from uh, Metal Fusion, Metal Fight Beyblade for the English dub. And it took a while to actually uh, get this video out just because the memory that I actually recorded with I had a corrupt file, and it took a while just to recover it. I finally was able to recover it, so... Yeah, I actually have the interview. The interview was kind of short just because of the time that we had. But uh, we went over some cool stuff, and also he talked about uh, some of his uh, social media and also his website. So I'll be leaving links to that in the description below. Make sure to check it out. Uh, show him some love. And yeah, just uh, enjoy. Have an awesome day. Hello everyone, I'm at Fan Expo 2019. I'm here joined by a voice actor, Jason DeLine. He has voiced many things. You might also know him from the Metal Fusion series for voicing Ben K. That guy right there. <laughs> so, <laughs> so uh, just uh, first question right off the bat, uh, what got you into voice acting or just acting in general? Well, uh, when I was a kid, uh, I liked doing funny voices and stuff. Uh, I listened to a lot of comedy albums that my dad had. We used to watch Saturday Night Live. And uh, when I got to high school, I got to sure. be the dentist in Little Shop of Horrors, our uh, school musical. And I met a lot of friends doing that, uh, other theater type people. Sure. And that just led to an interest in it. And I went to college for radio. Worked in radio for a while. Okay. Came back to Toronto to do acting some more, and then that led to voice acting. So, how long have you been actually uh, doing voice acting? Oof, uh, probably about thirteen years. All right. Yeah. Full time. So, I guess uh, what's been your favorite character to voice act? It could be if you've done real life or just uh, cartoons. Probably Batman. I didn't actually get to play him. I got to audition for him twice. Okay. Uh, <laughs> but I didn't get it. Uh, Drago's been great in uh, Bakugan, but I sure. love Ben because he just talks so silly. Ah, oh, he's just a, kind of a kind of a wacky guy. He's very big but very silly. His voice cracks a lot. Sure. Um, and he sort of started as a bully, but ended up being a more empathetic character and a helper of other characters. He had a nice restaurant at the end. Yeah. Yeah, the burger place. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I was also just going to ask, because there's this new series called Beyblade Burst. It comes right after Metal Fusion. They actually do have Metal Fight Beyblade remakes. Right, yeah. So, I don't know if they're going to do a Dark Bull one, but I just figured to, like, <laughs> put the information out yeah, there. Yeah, you never know. It'd be cool. I'm available, guys. <laughs> if you want to put Benkei back in. <laughs> uh, I was just going to ask some other questions, too, like... Uh, so what exactly, what characters have you been acting with, whether it's cartoons or just in real life? Uh, well, uh, for cartoons, obviously Be uh, Benke and Beyblade, Drago and Bakugan. Um, I was uh, in this show called Chop Chop Ninja sure. uh, that we did in Montreal. I play uh, Miko, a cat who kind of talks like this. He's kind of cocky. And another guy named Tetsuo is kind of a gentle soul. He's maybe not the brightest guy, but he's a really nice guy. Sure. That's some stuff I've been doing. And uh, more commercial work, narration work. Sure. Uh, for on camera, I did some stuff in Star Trek, um, Murdoch Mysteries, and I've got a couple more things coming up I can't talk about. Just. All right, okay. <laughs> that makes sense. Uh, I was just going to ask some other stuff. So, do you know much about at least uh, the metal fusion of Beyblade? Like the base? How much, uh, if you're going to quiz me, I don't know. I, I know about Dark Bull a little bit, and I try to stay close to my Benkei boy. But uh, what, what do you want to ask if I know? Oh, I was just <laughs> going to wonder, like, you know, what got you into Beyblade? If it was just, like, through dubbing it, or have you heard a little bit of the previous generation before that? I had known of it, but I was sort of uh, past that. I, I, was, I was older when that came out, so I wasn't really watching that kind of show. Okay, makes sense. Um, so I didn't really... I knew they were making a new series, and I got to audition for it, and that's what got me into it. And uh, I've never been good at playing it. <laughs> Same for uh, me. I've been to a couple of tournaments tournaments and emceed a few things and it's really cool the crowd really seems to respond to that but I am terrible at it. <laughs> uh, I was gonna say too because I think in Burst there was an actual like bull bay it was like Minoboros, Boros mm -hmm. but I don't think there's ever a blader in the anime they just made it no they just made it why not <laughs> uh, I was gonna say some other stuff like do you, if you have any advice uh, for potential future voice actors 
there's any uh, tips? Yeah, well, uh, breathe. Learn to breathe and control your breath. Sure. Uh, a lot of people, they're sort of breathing through it or their, their breath stops. Uh, learn to keep your shoulders down and breathe with your stomach coming out as opposed to your chest. And then control that breath as your stomach comes back in. Uh, another one is don't get hung up on uh, redubbing and imitating stuff. Yeah. Because people who do those voices can already be hired. You can be inspired by voices, but try to make it your own. Try to look at a character and don't hear the voice in your head you've already heard. Try to create your own. And if you you can draw from people you know in your life, uh, people you go to school with, and it doesn't have to be a perfect imitation of anyone, but you can be inspired by somebody and try to use that. And then maybe blend that with, what would your dad sound like if he was a frog? No one can guess that, so you can't get it wrong. My dad might sound like this or something. I don't know. Well, that's a little like big day. But yeah, try to create your own stuff. I, I think that's good. I don't think I have anything really else. Do you, if you have anything to plug, like in Twitter, Instagram, YouTube, anything like that. You can find me on Twitter, at Jason DeLine, but I don't post very much stuff on there. I'm mainly asking the creators of Mortal Kombat about stuff that's going on. I'm not a very good tweeter. Uh, but uh, you can find me at jasondeline.com and you can send questions about voice coaching uh, and I, I will try to get back to you in a timely manner and uh, keep Beyblading. Let her rip!